Hey everybody, MC Prepper. In this video, I wanted to share with all my viewers the pretty basic standard equipment that I carry with me on a daily basis. So stay tuned and we'll cover my EDC. In this video, I wanted to make the first video that, uh, as far as covering EDC. I've never done one of these videos before, but this is just the basic equipment that I carry with me um, day in, day out. Uh, just stuff that I use pretty much all day, every day. Uh, and, and I will add a few things here and there, but this is typically what is on my nightstand, on my dresser. And I will not leave the house with, without these things. So let's go through this start and I'll uh, let you see what I carry. So, obviously, just this just happens to be some chapstick that I picked up. Uh, but you always can use some chapstick. I don't smoke, but I do like to carry a lighter just in case I need to. Uh, sometimes I melt the ends of uh, paracord with this. Uh, I've used it to light little fire starters, things like that. So, I carry one of the little mini big lighters with me. Uh, I will typically, if I ever go to the grocery store, Walmart, whatever, uh, you can buy a pack of three of these for two two fifty. So I, I usually will buy those every now and then. So I have spares of these, uh, just to have one with me all the time. Uh, I like these smaller Sharpie markers, uh, just the standard point that most people have seen. This one's kind of neat because it's got a little cap on it. I have put this on a lanyard sometimes if I'm marking a lot of cardboard boxes, but I like to carry a. Uh, a small sharpie with me. Uh, next is uh, a flashlight. I believe that everybody should carry a flashlight with with you. Uh, I like this one. Uh, Phoenix is is a real nice brand. A lot of people have have heard this brand before. This one is the Phoenix E05. Uh, it retails currently for about twenty dollars. And I'll have a link to this uh, in my Amazon store, so you'll be able to pick one of these up. Just a single LED. Uh, it's one that runs off of AAA batteries, and and I think in this one I have the Duracell Quantum uh, AAA battery. Having the O-ring in, built into the flashlight makes the flashlight waterproof this flashlight is rated IPX68 so that means that it is waterproof uh, in up to six feet of water or two meters for 30 minutes uh, uh, the, it, it has three levels of light it starts out with eight lumens with a rechargeable nickel metal hydride it says that it will run for 14 hours, 30 minutes. On the alkaline that's in here, it should run for 15 hours. The next setting is a 25 lumen setting. It On a rechargeable battery, it should run for 4 hours, 15 minutes. And the same on a alkaline, 4 hours, 15 minutes. And then the high setting is 85 and on a nickel metal hydride it should run for an hour uh, and on an alkaline battery it's not as good it will run for 45 minutes the real nice thing about these is that it is somehow they actually work a microprocessor into the head of this light so they say that it's the voltage is digitally regulated so it maintains constant brightness uh, for pretty much the life of the battery um, it, you will have uh, and I've seen this because I've owned this flashlight for a long time uh, and I actually own several Phoenix flashlights you will have the same brightness up until the battery dies and it will sometimes surprise you because your lights working fine and then the battery will just die and you really don't get any more light out of it. It, it uses it up until it's just completely dead. Um, it weighs 12.5 grams. Uh, and it's... Or 0.6 ounces. 
Uh, it says the dimensions is 2.6 inches, um, 0.5 and 0.5. So I guess this way, and so it's basically being circled. It's half an inch uh, and 2.6 inches. But this has just a, been a great flashlight, and, and I do like it. You get a lot of light out of a AAA battery, and it doesn't weigh very much. So you can see it's about the same size as the Swiss Army knife that I'm going to show you next. I believe this one's called the Rambler. Uh, the reason I like that is I, I do work in IT at a hospital, so sometimes I have to take little tiny screws out. So I like this one because it actually has a built-in Phillips head. Uh, this is supposed to be a wire stripper, so if you put a wire through there, you can strip off the outer plastic. Um, and it's got a bottle opener, so at the end of a hard day, you can open a cold one. Uh, it's got the standard knife blade. On this side, it has the uh, the file. The It has a... And a, a, a flathead screwdriver uh, and it also has a pair of scissors and the traditional toothpick and tweezers but I, I like this one because it's pretty thin it's about the same size as my flashlight but it has the scissors and the screwdriver and I use those two quite a bit uh, as far as a multi-tool uh, I like the Sidekick uh, as uh, this model because you've got a standard blade and you've got a saw. Not that um, I, I would. I mainly care this not for work specifically for, but if I were just going to do some hiking or just uh, if or if I had to walk home or something I, I have a way to cut some branches or cut a little bit of kindling so I kind of like the uh, saw built in um, I actually also have the wingman uh, in in replace of the saw it has a pair of scissors on this side and then it has the traditional um, set of pliers you know and it's got all the the uh, regular other tools in there I won't bore you with that but uh, I use this tool a lot. Um, it, it just when you need a, a heftier screwdriver or a set of pliers, uh, it's just hard to, to. You just can never find those tools. So I can keep this with me in my uh, little cargo pocket. So this has just been the knife that I've been carrying lately. I got it as a Christmas present from my kids uh, this past Christmas. It's a Gerber. It, it came with a flashlight kit. Um, I've never lost a lot of knives, but I figure um, I am walking miles and miles and miles around the hospital, so uh, it is possible that I could drop this knife, and it's just not an expensive knife. Um, it's really sharp, though. Um, I, I've been really impressed with the blade. It's, it's uh, not a self-assisting blade. Uh, I traditionally carry knives made by Kershaw, uh, but... I really just I, I like the the ergonomics of it. Uh, I liked I haven't I've never sharpened the blade. It actually has came right out of the box sharp. Uh, the thing I do like the most is uh, as far as why I chose to carry this one on a daily basis is uh, you can see that the curve of the belt clip it's almost the same height as the top of the knife so when it's in your pocket you, you really don't see you'll see this clip on the on your outside of your pocket but you don't some knives it'll stick up past the clip so I kind of like that too uh, just so it doesn't freak people out that you've got a pocket knife with you um, I've just carried this one lately mainly just because it, it conceals a little bit better than some other of the knives that I've got so uh, and then last but not least, um, this is a wallet that I picked up maybe going on a year now. Uh, I can uh, look it up and see, but it's called the Big Skinny. The reason I like this one is you can kind of see down in there, I've got quite a few cards. Uh, and I've got some cash in there, but even as many cards as I've got in there, 
it, it just folds or it just lays so flat. Uh, this is the most cards I've probably ever had in there, mainly because I've had to change. Uh, it's that time of the year where you get a new card, and I still have the old card, so I haven't gone through and and uh, cleaned that out. But um, you've got two. Uh, I'll block my ID there, but you've got two pockets on either side. Um, you can store cards in there, store cards in there, and then you just have a place for the cash like normal. But it's a lightweight wallet. Um, it's held up very well um, as far as uh, just the ruggedness of the wallet. I'm not exactly sure. It's not, uh, it's some kind of nylon or there's a, t actually, there is a tag in here, I think, that may say. Oh no, it just has the, the, the name of the wallet and where it was made. Um, but it's also uh, a rubber or plastic lined on the inside. So it makes it for very, uh, very rugged wallet. So I've thoroughly enjoyed that wallet. Um, and I, if it wears out, I'll probably try and buy another one. So that's it really. This, is, this makes up what I carry on a daily basis. Um, it covers a lot of the different tools uh, as, as far as um, getting into the five C's. You know, I've got a way to cut. I've got a way to start a fire. Um, I do have a torch. Um, and then in my video of my get home bag, I've got shelter and things like that. But it's just basic things that I find that I, I pretty much use everything that you see here all day, every day. So yeah i hope that you like this video you know if you've got any suggestions of things that uh you carry and you uh, you'd like to pass that along to me um because I, I look at a lot of videos and i look at a lot of websites uh, just to see what other people carry i'm just a, a nut as far as it comes to little gadgets and things like that so uh, you know give me a thumbs up if you like my video and you know remember to please subscribe so that you'll get notification whenever new videos come out. And uh, thanks again for watching.